What's up? PJ here with 3D Printing Canada. I've got the Kai Wu Tycoon here. We're gonna do an unboxing and build video for you guys, so stay tuned. After doing some reading and some research online, this printer comes with a build volume of 240 by 240 by 230. It also comes pre-installed with a BL Touch and Direct Drive Kit. So without further ado, let's break into this box and see what it has to offer. User manual. Oh, look at that. My favorite, glass. It's got the silicone side for your PLA and your smooth side for everything else. I give you a small roll of PLA to get started. Accessory box. All right, now the good stuff. We've got one layer of foam here. It's your main gantry. And then last but not least, we've got your build plate and power cable. All right, guys, now that we've got all of this stuff out of the packaging, the printer seems relatively simple to assemble. Basically four bolts and a couple plugs. Uh, I'm really digging the style of this printer, uh, the dual Z access, the fact that it's direct drive, comes pre-installed with a BL touch. They really did a good job there. Um, they've got everything came nice and greased up, so, so far. Okay, so the first step we're gonna take here is to take our side cutters that were provided in the kit and remove the zip ties here, holding everything down. Let's get all our cabling out of the way, that way we don't crush it. The next step, carefully take your base plate Go ahead and move the bed a little bit forward here and slide it in. Okay, next we're gonna take it and tip it on its side. Just remember to keep your hand on it so it doesn't run away on you. Then in the kit they've provided four screws to secure the base plate to the frame. Also provided all the necessary Allen keys to assemble. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the four provided bolts and with this step, I like to only lightly secure them that way you can make sure everything lines up correctly. So we'll start with the top one here. And again, I'm not over tightening any of these. That way nothing binds. I like to do the typical method of corner to corner when installing screws myself. Now these should go in nice and easy. If they're not, stop. Make sure they go in nice and easy, guys. You don't wanna be stripping anything out. Again, just snug until we get all four in. So now I'll go corner to corner, just securing them all up. Okay, next we're gonna take the two set of feet they provide and install them. Okay, next step guys, pretty simple. We're just gonna take these XT60 connector for the bed, plug it in, plug in your thermistor, then plug in your Y motor and your Y motor end stop, which is up here at the front. Okay, that was pretty simple. I'm actually really impressed. 
with how easy this printer is to go together. And let's not forget the fact that it has a BL Touch already pre-installed. Okay, last but not least, guys, we just gotta install the uh, spool holder and the glass bed. And then we're gonna fire it up and uh, give it a go. So you're just gonna take your spool holder and the T-nuts, align them in there. You wanna make sure those T-nuts spin as you're tightening so they grab the 2020 extrusion and tighten down. There we go, wonderful. And then again, take a look on the other side and make sure that T-nut is actually spinning. There we go, and grabbing. Great, next, we're gonna take the spool holder, install it. Pretty straightforward, just a little twist on. And your bed. Nice glass bed here. And they provide the clips, the binder clips to hold it down. Now, I'm just gonna install one here on the back. Basically all four corners you wanna install your binder clips on. Okay, just to give you a little look under the hood of this. Now there's a few screws I pre took off just because I didn't want to bore you guys with unscrewing things. They really kind of went the extra mile here to make things accessible. So that just slides off. You can unplug your screen cable here. Give yourself a little more room to work on things here. Look at that. They left you all kinds of room. Just unplug your screen cable. If you've got your board, really easy to access things. You know, I, I'm really impressed with this printer so far. I think they've done a wonderful job with the dual lead screw, uh, anti-backlash nuts, smooth rods, uh, BL touch. Th th this is really good so far. I'm actually really impressed. It also has a Meanwhile power supply. One thing I want you guys to focus on before you go ahead and plug your printer in and turn it on is the power supply itself. On this side here, now it comes with a switch. So you either got your 110 or your 220. They definitely, because of being in China, have it on 220. You're gonna go ahead and switch that to 115. Also guys, they did a maker base 32 bit board. So that's another wonderful feature. I wanted to show everyone underneath the hood of the hot end as well. It has a unique extruder. So I'm just gonna pop this off. It's held in with set screws. This extruder is also your heat sink. It doesn't have an all metal heat break in it. That is the only thing it is lacking. Mind you, most printers do not come with all metal heat breaks. It's something you install as an upgrade. Uh, upon inspection a little bit closer, it looks like to me, we might be able to work in some type of cracking all metal heat break. So you'll still be able to get that all metal functionality. They've really kept everything nice and tight, neat and tidy filament runout sensor. I love the fact that they put a wheel on the extruder gear so you can go ahead and turn your filament in if you're having a little bit of a problem getting it in. All right, so we're about to turn the Tycoon on for the first time. And she's powering up. Actually, something pretty interesting here I just noticed. As the BL Touch turns on, I've never noticed one that actually Looks like the blue light and the red light are 50-50. That's pretty neat. All right, so let's go through some of the touch screen functionality here. You got your tool section, you get your preheat, your extrusion, your auto level, filament, more, home, back to go back to the previous screen and move for moving the access. So you wanna move an access, can go ahead and select from one millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 0.1 of a millimeter. So let's go ahead and just uh, move the Z axis up by 10 millimeters. Let's do an auto home. Okay, we'll go into the preheat function. You can go ahead and add for uh, add and decrease your temperature. You can go ahead and hit this button here. It'll switch to the hot bed. Again, you can plus or minus. Can have it go up by one C. 5C or 10C. You can go ahead and close the power to anything that you've started up with that. 
and then your back arrow to take you back. You have a um, loading and unloading screen. So in and out, how much? We went through the move, we've got the home page. All right, so my first impressions of the Kwu Tycoon. I'm impressed, guys. I have to say this printer, they've taken a few extra steps to make it really nice. Really simple setup, a really nice touch screen, meanwhile power supply, BL touch, direct drive extruder. You really can't go wrong. It has a lot of features. Just the simplicity of moving this printer around, um, the rails, everything about it, I'm, I'm impressed, guys. So we'll have to bring it back and show you some test prints because I'm going to take this puppy downstairs into the tech room and get her printing. We've just finished some prints here. As you can see, we got ourselves a little Matter Hackers astronaut. And just with generic slicer settings, nothing fancy, it turned out really nice. And I'm, I'm really impressed by this. It printed TPU like a champ. I'm actually shocked. The supports came out with my fingers. Uh, there's definitely barely any flaws in this mount at all. I'm very impressed. This is a GoPro Hero 8 mount for a Stinger V2 frame for an FPV racing drone. And then we got something here in vase mode and just to test it uh, overall with the height. And again, I'm actually, we can pull that off there. I'm actually pretty impressed again. Final thoughts on the machines, guys. I'm actually really impressed. They did their due diligence to make sure everything was designed very well. The direct drive extruder, the dual Zs, anti-backlash nuts, as well as the couplers. Uh, I'm really impressed. The way you can access the board, the screen interface works really well. They really paid attention to detail on this printer. I'm impressed. Gets two thumbs up from me. And guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, hit the little bell on the bottom there so you get notified upon all our new videos. See you in the next one.